Hi, and welcome to Newcastle under Lyme, a vibrant and bustling market town nestled in the heart of Staffordshire. And today I'm here to introduce you to the newest addition of that landscape, Deacon's Yard, a 273 apartment purpose-built student development. This is designed specifically for the students of both Keele University as well as Staffordshire University. Located only a stone's throw away from the town centre and with bus routes serving both universities as well as the major university hospital, this development is ideal for both studying as well as socialising. Hello and welcome to Deacon's Yard. I'm currently walking through the main reception area here within the development. Behind me is where you'll find a concierge with 24 seven staffing, as well as all of the post boxes for our students. Now, if you want to follow me through, we'll go and look at the rest of the amenity space in the development. Hello and welcome to the ground floor breakout space here at Deacon Yard. As you'll see, I'm currently stood in what will be the study halls for our students. As I pass through these two grain beams, I'm entering the mezzanine level gym, uh, which is accessible for all of our students complete with the yoga and fitness studios. So let's jump upstairs and have a look at the rest of the breakout space. So as you join me now on the mezzanine level of the gymnasium, now this will be where the yoga and fitness studio will be located for our tenants. And you'll see with the idyllic view behind us of Victoria Gardens, it makes the best backdrop for those tenants working out. As you follow me through to the left of the doorway, we're gonna enter the cinema space, exclusive usage for our tenants within the development. And following on from that, a further study space for our aspiring professionals. So here you'll find us in one of the communal corridors of a cluster here at Deacon Yard. Each of these clusters will be complete with four or five ensuite apartments, as well as a communal living and kitchen space. And as you will see, the kitchens are now being installed, ready for the students to start their journey in university. Now you join us in one of the Deacon's Yard apartments. Whether it's one of the spacious self-contained apartments or the more cozy ensuite apartments, you will still find the same contemporary furnishings, high-speed internet and ample storage for our students to maximise their time while at university. We're now here at Kill University, home to over 12 and a half thousand students and nestled in 600 acres of the beautiful Staffordshire countryside. Kill University was recently ranked ninth by Quality Students World Rankings, rating higher than some of the Ivy League universities in America, like Cornell. Kill University is also welcomed over a thousand students from 120 different countries worldwide. And with their new 10 million pound expansion program working on a new innovation centre, you can see why Kill University is strongly becoming one of the best universities in the UK for students. Now you join me at Staffordshire University, one of the other major universities within the region, home to over 15,000 students coming from 75 different countries. Now Staffordshire University's popularity is growing year on year, and this is due to the rankings it's recently received. It ranked fourth place for higher educational impact by the Times in 2023, and ranked fourth in student satisfaction by the Complete Guide of Universities 2024. Now let's not forget the prestigious Royal Stoke University Hospital, one of the largest teaching hospitals here in the UK. Also being one of the major employers within the local area with 6,000 people working within these buildings. This campus is also home to Kill University's School of Medicine, with over 200 doctors being trained and retained in the NHS by these facilities. Now this building was built back in 2012 under a £400 million expansion project to consolidate a number of campuses into one large operating site. So thanks for joining us today at Deacon's Yard. To find out more about this project, please head over to the website for more information.